right, so what we have here is uh, our tea garden. And uh, this tea garden is pretty cool. It basically has a couple of different things in it. Uh, believe it or not, catnip is one of them. So catnip is here. Echinacea is here. Uh, in the middle, I believe, is chamomile. Um, right here is lemon balm. Right here is bergamot. This is lemon mint with a bunch of other seeds around it. And then the other one is hyssop right here. Um, and there should be peppermint growing right here, but it's just not doing its thing just yet. Um, but we have a lot of peppermint mint anyway, so not a problem. If you've seen the vertical wall, you'll see the peppermint that we have. Um, right here is more catnip, which um, started with just one little plant. And any sort of catnip is in the mint family, but any sort of mint will grow crazy fast. Doesn't take long at all for it to just spread. Here's more of the... Now, is this spearmint or peppermint, Noe? That's lemon balm. This right here is lemon balm? Yeah. Okay, well, this is lemon balm right here. So, uh, lemon balm, we actually have several things of lemon balm. So, if the tea garden lemon balm doesn't do well, then this will do fine. But I'm going to show you some big plants that we have of uh, lemon balm as well. Okay, get my feet out of the way. So here is uh, peppermint. <clears throat> okay, so Noe said this is peppermint. Uh, and the chickens really destroyed this pretty bad. Um, and literally the taller pieces is what grew back first, right after we, we allow the chickens to roam over the winter um, after the growing season, so they destroyed this. The smaller is what they've actually, what's actually happened in the last few uh, days or weeks and so peppermint spearmint is here this is spearmint right middle yeah so this is spearmint uh, and again similar taller pieces is what grew back first and the rest is filled in when I say there was nothing there it's just dirt uh, literally the chickens destroyed it and then this is chocolate mint now chocolate mint we got it for especially for the chickens there's something that Noe read that said that uh, chickens love it. Um, they didn't mess with it too, too much. But again, uh, the one area that was left alone was this. We dug it out of the ground over here, which is where all of our wildflowers are. Um, and it was actually kind of in this general area. And so she put it in a planter, and this is all the new growth that happened uh, since she put it in the planter just a few weeks ago. Now I'm going to show you the uh, lemon balm. Okay, so Noe just now watered this, but this is basically uh, lemon balm. Now we have another lemon balm out front. Um, so uh, snails and slugs tend to really like this. Um, they've been really, I don't know if you can see that, they've been really eating this. Um, but probably the little snail family that uh, Noelle took in, uh, they love this. Um, but anyhow, this right here is great for uh, teas. So again, if the lemon balm that we have back there doesn't take, we already know we have a plant here. We have another plant just as big um, as well. Okay, now our biggest peppermint patch, if you will, is this. Uh, it started off with something right about here. And now we had like one little plant here and another little plant. And the chickens came through and it was literally just dirt. Um, I mean, they literally, they yeah, they, they destroyed it, uh, and we didn't do anything, and we were concerned if it was going to come back. Once the chickens were put up, uh, probably, are you okay, sweets? Um, once the uh, chickens were put up, we saw a few little sprouts, and then boom, this is what it looks like about a month later. Uh, it's lit or has it been a month or two? About two months? Like that. about two months this is what has happened it's literally and all of this will be full soon um, so yeah that's how fast mint can grow it's almost indestructible yeah once the root system establishes yeah there's not good. much yeah there's not much you can do you can cut it down and with it a weed spreads. eater it spreads you can cut it down with a weed eater you're fine that's one of the reasons why I put uh, this around it uh, to try to hopefully keep it in but that's not going to keep it in it's just going to go underneath it and grow everywhere but, um, I'd rather but, have mint than dandelions. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it. That's basically the uh, tea garden. 
uh, that I'm experimenting with this year. So we're gonna see how that works. I think it's gonna be pretty good. We've already had some tea uh, from the garden actually, uh, and it was really amazing. Just really fresh, really, really nice. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, I will see you. Take care.